For years, Green Lantern's archenemy Sinistro has desired nothing more than to destroy the core, but has he already succeeded? The Green Lantern core reputation on one planet may hint how the Fallen Lantern has done something far worse than dismantling his former organization. As the number one threat of the interstellar peacekeeping force, Sinistro is the core ultimate cautionary story. Once upon a time, he was a stalwart member of the Green Lanterns and his sector was known for being one of the least crime-ridden. However, it was discovered that Sinistro was abusing the powers of his Green Lantern ring and running his sector like a dictatorship, even keeping the people of his home planet living in fear. After Sinistro's sins came to light, he was banished from the core, with the disgraced officer swearing that he would have his revenge on the Guardians of the Universe and the Green Lanterns. But as it turns out, he may have already succeeded in those efforts. In Green Lantern Corps, Recharge No. 1 by Jeff Johns and Patrick Gleason, the core is reassembling for the first time since its destruction. As rings scatter throughout the galaxy, one finds its way to the Green Lantern nemesis Sinistro's homeworld Korugar and selects the highly esteemed Dr. Soren Ignatu. However, instead of taking pride in being selected, Sorenik reacts in fear, calling the ring a symbol of oppression and pain. She brings up the previous Korugaran lantern Sinistro the Wicked and his successor Katma Tui the Lost as examples of what happens when her people accept the Green Lantern Ring. Though Sorenik does accept the ring to help her save an ailing Mont's life in surgery, her colleagues tell Natu that she's damned herself joining the core. It's understandable that the Korugarans fear the power ring. As a Green Lantern, Sinistro used his powers to keep order on his planet by threat of violence. And while she was a much better Lantern than Sinistro, Kadma Tui was violently killed in the line of duty. But it seems that the fear all begins with the terror that Sinistro instilled during his days as a Lantern, showing how deeply his actions have affected Korugar. Though Sinistro once strongly believed in the core, he's become intent on its destruction after being expelled for his crimes. While it's unlikely that he'll ever achieve that goal, he's already done something arguably worse, killed the credibility of the Green Lantern Corps. The organization generally has a reputation as being one of the most honorable forces in the entire DC Universe, but the actions of one man effectively poisoned the entire Corps for all of Korugar. Who knows how far that line of thinking goes as Sinistro dominated an entire sector all by himself and likely created similar anxieties regarding the Lanterns. Sinistro might not be able to take down the Green Lantern Corps, but he's done outstanding work undermining their reputation on the cosmic stage. With a gentle touch you tell me why.